Let's just do it. I don't care. I'm doing it. It's the worst I can do. So say you have a Jeep, Chrysler, Ram, Dodge, and this is what's happening. They had a time where their radios would not work at all. You turn them on, the volume would say zero, and you turn the knob and it never changes the volume. You hear a clicking feedback through the speakers, it's click, click, like the amplifier is not working, but yet the radio memory stations work. Everything works there. Um, phone might say, now they work, works on the phone for Bluetooth. Look at that. Not available. See? And it talks back. But if you put the radio on, nothing. No volume. Nothing. So there is a TSB on this where they say they have to hook up the scanner, dealer scanner, and reprogram the actual body control module like for the radio. Update it. Just like your iPhone, it says it needs an update, you know, 14.1 version. Well, they, they tell you if it's been updated. If it has, then the radio needs to be sent out and fixed or put an aftermarket one in. If it hasn't been updated, you try that first. So I thought, it takes no time to take the dash apart. Let's take it apart. Let's unplug this directly, just as if it was its own little module, which kind of is. And let's see if we can reprogram it that way, just like you're shutting down your computer at home sometimes when it has a glitch. In order to remove the radio, we're gonna have to remove this dash mechanism right here. And unfortunately, Jeep makes it so that you have to take all the AC and heat vents out. Then you're gonna take this control panel out, upper panel here, knee kick panel, and then it comes out. It's not as hard as it sounds, but I'm gonna show you how tricky these can be. Some people take body tools, trim tools, or a screwdriver and pry on this. Nope. You're gonna keep the Jeep word in the up position, which it should be anyways. I'll show you a better version once I get it out. So you're gonna turn the vent part, not the outer ring, Turn the outer vent part so you see an actual little cutout hole. And you're gonna take your pocket screwdriver, bring it up in there, pull down on the lever. Now with holding that down, you're gonna grab the outer bezel where it says Jeep, and you're gonna turn it counterclockwise. And then you can just release that, pull it right out. So with the louvers leveled like that, you can see the little hole that it provides, and you can turn these until that lines up, and what it's lining up is with is right here. So then you're gonna bring your screwdriver through, like this, and push down on this tab. And with this tab being pushed down, you can turn the whole vent to the left counterclockwise and slide it right out. So all you need to do this job is a little flathead screwdriver and a seven millimeter socket. Let's get this job done. So now we get the radio out, and here are all the connectors. We got the the antenna connector. We, I mean, antenna, and we have a satellite, and we have the actual connectors for the power source and speakers. So before we flash it or have our appointment at the dealer to get this program to see if that solves the problem, I'm going to do a little bit myself, and I'm just going to unplug it and see if we can reset it and go from there. Here's the tab. Push in on it. Pull it down. Same with this one. Now I'm gonna plug it back in. It's been disconnected for like just 10 minutes. And uh, let's see if it works. Well, let's turn it on. Let's see if it's the same or if it's corrected it. Ah, oh, didn't work. You can see I'm turning the volume dial. No volume dial. Memory still works. Station numbers are still programmed. Tells AM, FM, satellite. It's still not working. Just a snapping, feeding through like the speaker. So the TSB does say, Amplifier 
volume not working and Amplify a clicking noise, which is what's happening. So I tried to unplug it, see if I can reset it that way. Didn't work. Not just the battery reset, but actual item reset. Because there's a circuit board in here, I want to do it. Try it out. Works sometimes on GM cars with body control modules. I thought it was worth an effort. So it looks like we're going to have to follow the TSB, Technical Service Bulletin, bring it to the dealer, have them see if it's updated, programmed. If it is, then I'm taking her out and I'm putting an aftermarket radio in. Well, as you can see, it didn't work. So to the dealer it goes, see if we can get it reprogrammed. Hopefully it works. If not, then I'm going to end up doing my real fixing that I want to do to it. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell that turns on all your notifications so you won't miss any future videos.